when I first realized that we'd be working on a stadium in, in Rome, it was for me a, um, a kind of coming full circle because I've often talked about sports architecture in, in lectures by starting with the Colosseum. 2,000 years later, it's one of the most important tourist attractions in Rome. And so even though it's not being used in the way it was originally designed, it's still a viable building. You know, most of our buildings, the buildings I've designed, the buildings that other sports architects have designed, they'll be gone. I'm designing a new stadium that I knew a lot of people were going to label as the new Colosseum or you know, the future of Rome, and, and that was pretty intimidating. What, what we think is modern today will look like it was in the 80s, 20 years from now. But the real idea about how do you make a building long-lasting in, in Rome is about the urban idea. You know, I think there was a big concern in all sports that the better the broadcast got to be, the more difficult it was to get people to come to the stadium. The provocative statement was, the stadium's going to die. It cannot exist this way. So then the question is, what will happen? The amazing experience of being together with 70,000 people and watching something happen, I, I think that will always be compelling to people. And so it's not just a stadium. We've, we've wrapped it in a kind of LA Live. Again, learning from my Staples history, if you can create a destination around the stadium and make the event spill outside. And the idea is that fans would come there and watch away games. So they feel like that's their home of their club but they'll go there even when the club's playing somewhere else. How do we make these urban drivers for cities is, is really something that I've been intrigued with ever since we, we learned that lesson from Staples. So that's a really interesting idea to me for how we might think about this in the future.